it must have been about one o'clock. Nick started to feel quite poorly. We'd had something to eat, and I said to Quill at the time, I, you know, I really don't feel great. And I started to shake and shiver. I got the thermometer thinking, oh, it must have like a temperature or something. But the thermometer actually flashed green and said its temperature was fine. I came home from school and I kind of picked up that something was wrong. The way mum was rushing and panicking, dad was just out of it mumbling nonsense in his sleep. I woke him up just to make sure he was okay. And when I woke him up, he said he wanted a drink, but he couldn't even hold the glass or lift his arms to hold the glass. Dad, she, can you show me your hands? She noticed that my nails have gone blue and uh, I'd actually gone blue around the lips. He has an SpO2 machine, so I checked his oxygen levels and heart rate, even with his heart condition, was still a bit fast and abnormal. And his oxygen levels were really low. St John Ambulance had taught me to rule out any other conditions like heart attacks or strokes. When you look behind the lines and you add all the elements together that you can, you sort of realise that this can potentially be sepsis. She turned around and said to me then, Mum, I need you to get an ambulance. I was shouting out, no, no ambulance, just call the doctor. I still tried to keep calm and just explain to her that if Dad doesn't have an ambulance now, this can become really fatal. I think I was actually a bit scared because obviously I said, I don't want to lose my dad. I love my dad, but at the same time I was relieved that our help was on its way and that something is going to be done to help my dad's condition. They decided that they'll just they'll take him to hospital and just to see what it could be and obviously when they did it turned out it was sepsis. I am a St John Ambulance cadet. I have a great leader Jane and her whole team helped me to learn first aid. It's really fun to go to because you meet other people there who you know, enjoy the same things that you do. With that side, you also learn how to save people's lives in situations like mine and my dad's. I definitely think Charlotte saved Nick's life. If I'd just carried on the way I would have done, which was just calling the GP, by the morning, obviously might not have been with us. It was absolutely astonishing to think that she was a nominated, although I'm sure she would have done it for anyone. She'd done it for her dad, so it's special. Not many people could stay calm in, you know, in a family situation. So I'm very grateful. Very grateful.